Have you ever seen these abbreviations before and wondered what they were? In this lesson, I'll tell you what these common abbreviations mean, and I'll teach you the best way to read them out loud. Learn with us on English Grammar Focus. Today's lesson is about abbreviations. Abbreviations are just shortened forms of words or phrases. We use them to save time, space, or both. You're probably already familiar with a lot of them, such as JAN period for January, MR period for Mr., and ASAP for as soon as possible. In this lesson, we're going to focus on these three common abbreviations because I've had a lot of students ask about them recently. So if you're ready to have your questions answered, let's get started. The first abbreviation is EG with periods after each letter. It stands for exempli gratia in Latin, and it means for the sake of example. This abbreviation is used before listing one or more examples of something to show what you mean. It's not a complete list, just more possibilities. In this sentence, you can see a few examples of healthy food. There are definitely more possibilities that you could list, but these are enough to give the reader a better idea. We never read EG in its Latin form, exempli gratia. It is much easier and clearer to say, for example. So you would read this sentence as, I'm trying to eat more healthy food. For example, vegetables, fruit, and fish. The next abbreviation is IE, also with periods after each letter. It stands for id est in Latin, and it means that is. This abbreviation is used to say something again with different words to make it clearer. This is similar to the phrase in other words. In this example, the phrase before the end of the month makes it clear what on time means. Like EG, we don't read IE in its Latin form, id est. It's much easier and clearer to read it as that is. So you would read the sentence like this. Please pay your bill on time. That is, before the end of the month. The last abbreviation is ETC with one period after the three letters. It stands for etc. in Latin, and it means and other similar things. This abbreviation is used at the end of a list of examples when it is clear what the rest of the list will be. This is similar to the phrase and so on. In this sentence, you can see three examples of junk food. You don't need to see any more examples because you should be able to continue the list yourself. Unlike the previous examples, we do read this abbreviation in its Latin form, etc. So you would read this sentence as, I'm trying to avoid fast food, cookies, potato chips, etc. All right, it's quiz time again, and I have three questions for you to show me what you've learned. See if you can answer all of them correctly. Ready? Here we go. Which abbreviation means, for example? The correct answer is EG. If you forget, just remember that E is the first letter in example. True or false? When we read the abbreviation IE, we should say that is. This is true. If you forget this one, just think of the letter I in the phrase in other words, which is just another way of saying that is. When you read this abbreviation, how many syllables are there? This was a trick question. There are two ways to pronounce this, etc. with four syllables, or the reduced version, etc. with three syllables. 
Did you answer all of the questions correctly? Let me know how you did in the comments below. I hope this lesson gave you a better idea of what these common abbreviations mean and how to read them out loud. When you finish watching this video, click the link in the description to take the abbreviations quiz on my website. Share your results with me so I can know how you did. Try to get all of the answers correct to earn the title of Grammar Superstar. I hope you learned something new in this lesson. If you want to continue improving your English, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to see all of my latest videos. Don't forget to click the like button. It really helps me know what kind of videos I should make next. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.